<sighs> Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vinay Shalom. Uh, today I'm going to be telling you my, my experience with Kenyan police when I was in Kenya, when I traveled to Nairobi, Kenya. You know, as a foreigner, there's a limit to what you can do, uh, to what you're allowed to do if you're not a citizen of a particular country. Let me start by saying that I know that police and security matters are a sensitive issue to each country, particularly even in Nigeria now, our security is something we are all praying about. But when you travel to a foreign land and you encounter some things that you cannot explain, I think the best friend you could have in that community or in that place where you travel to, they are the police. After the people you travel along with or maybe the friends you make there, the next people that are kind of like a savior to you in a foreign country, they are the police. If you have any problem, if you think you're not clear or something, if you think you're being cheated or maybe citizens, even the citizen of that particular country, if they did you wrong or something like that, your one and only solution or the only people that you can talk to or the only person you can talk to they are the police i remember my days at oda badias if you know where i'm talking about leave it down in the comment section uh, i experienced some things that are white to me i went to kenya with three with two of my friends make we were making three of us all together we met some friends there so we are kind of a kind of a group of international colleagues that we just walk around and we both share the same experience i was like ah, why not just share this thing with people that people can learn about this experience of mine? In other ideas, if you put your things carelessly, I mean carelessly, in Nigeria here, yes, people kind of steal. Let me just put it like that. People steal. There's no country that you don't have criminals or people that steal, but it has a degree, it has an accent in each country. Kenya, especially, please, KOT. If you know this is not true, put it down in the comments. But if you know this is true, write it down in the comments. If you put your things carelessly, even if you don't put it carelessly, people will keep it for you. That's just the right and the honest truth about it. Shoes has been stolen, laptop, singlet, I mean underwear has been stolen, trousers has been stolen. I spent like some time, so it was remaining like a returning flight to Nigeria was like in two days. So I was like tidying up and carrying my shoes and everything. I have some shoes that I bought and I was taking care of it and packing. You know, when you're packing for, to relocate and to travel back to where you're coming from. So you kind of, I now kind of took some of my shoes, I washed them, then I spread it outside because a lot of people were not around in the lodge at that time. So I spread it outside, there were like, let me say, um, eight pairs of shoes. That's like 16, if you count it, one, one, one. But there are like eight pairs of shoes. By the time I returned from the outing I went to, and coming back to the lodge, I met only three pairs. I met only three pairs. One of my shoes, my favorite shoe, in fact, the most beautiful one among them, was stolen. My slippers, my sandal, and one particular shoe that I just bought. I think I bought it in Kenya, so, right? It was not expensive. I bought it, I think I got it from Bata. Yes, Bata or Bata or something like that. There's a store called Bata, so I got it from there. So one of it, I got it from there, and it was like my favorite go-to shoe that I also like a lot. So I, just, I just arranged everything close to my lodge. It was not even far. And I, I went inside the room. I think I went out or something. And there were people in the room. There were people near the lodge. There were people that their lodge is also close to where I was staying. I was expecting that nobody would. Even if somebody wants to carry something from here, people will stop the person. Lo and behold, by the time I came back, the story has changed. I lost five pairs yes so I, because i was it was remaining three pairs i lost five pairs of shoe at a time i wanted to oh my god then another one that one is different i think it's shoe so that one is better then there was a thing if you ask kenyans that how do you see nigerians how do you perceive nigerians they will tell you apart from music aside from the fact that maybe most of nigeria they know maybe scam people even though they have not been scammed themselves, but they will tell you that they also use juju power, like this voodoo African power or something. Guess what? Turns out that there are also some people in Kenya, some Kenyan citizens, that also use voodoo. Because laptop that was stolen was inside the room, the doors were locked, and, and it got stolen inside. And you can see that it was from the window, though they took it from inside the room they took it out 
from the window so i don't know how that is possible that aside then my colleague spread his clothes outside this time he's a male he spread his clothes outside close to his own lodge i've forgotten the name of his lodge right now but he spread outside close to his own lodge he spread jean trousers uh his underwear and some shirts believe me he lost the jean trousers he lost the underwear i think they left only his shirt for him because because if you wear a shirt uh if you're in the same lodge with some people and you wear the same shirt they will know that this is some, this person's shirt or something like that but if it's jeans trousers they know that almost everybody has jeans trousers you cannot say this is my jean trousers they will tell you that i'll show you that this is your own then of course the underwear that was stolen you have to wear it inside something so that one is kind of logical so you can see that we're not talking about amateurs here they have calculated everything so what was the solution to this thing we went to reports because we're fed up of losing our properties. There's even a channel on YouTube that so that I think his main niche is to expose thieves on the streets of Nairobi. If I remember the name of the channel, I'm going to leave it down in the link in the description box so that you can check it out. Guys, the rate of pickpocketing, the rate people catches things, even inside your bag, if you're not careful, you will get to your destination and you'll be looking for your properties. You will not see it. Is inside your bag. In fact, your bag has been zipped up. You will meet it zipped up. By the time you open it, when you get to your destination, you'll find out that it's missing. So, we went to report to the, uh, to the authorities. First, to the lodge authorities. Then, in turn, the lodge authorities, they will report to the police. And as good citizens, as good policemen and women, you know, they are supposed to come in, investigate, ask how the thing was missing, ask the items that were stolen, and probably help us to try to find them. Guess what? Did you think they did all that? Do you think we recover all our things back? It will shock you that they did nothing. Absolutely nothing about the whole thing <laughs> the lodge in fact when we went to repair to the lodge the lodge was like yes so what's the big deal like it's been it's so usual to them that it's not a big deal like you are just wasting your time reporting anything that's just how the thing just went like that like the way they just responded it was like just go you are not going to find it. you are not going to look for it see my favorite shoe it pained me to the extent that i wrote on a sheet of paper like my sticky note or something like a big cardboard that is sticky at the back i had to go and paste it at the wall please return my shoe call this number to be rewarded or something did anybody call for where gone gone like this another colleague of mine was also scammed of how much 11,000 Kenyan shilling from M Pesa. This thing, I don't know, maybe because she was naive about the whole thing. It was when we first came in, so the thing the person just in fact, we kept calling the person, the person kept giving us hope that he will return it. He said that we are Nigerians, we are strangers, so he's not supposed to do like that. Shh. He did not return anything, he, he went away with the whole money. Well, we just thank God that it was no more than 11,000 Kenyan shilling because. I didn't mean it was something big. Maybe the money is bigger than that. You know how terrible it will have been. Like having you stranded in the, on the street of Nairobi without your family members there. So it was really an horrible experience for me that you want to report something. Maybe like thief and, and stealing and something like that. But you have it at the back of your mind that nothing will be done. So let me know your experience in the comment section. Kenyans, do you think this is right? Do you think... You guys are used to it. Do you think it's my fault for spreading my shoe outside? Because I know, I know some people might think that it's my fault. For, but shoes, how, how will someone steal shoe? Like, well, oh, that's just my experience. If you find this video interesting, kindly subscribe to the channel, turn on your bell notification, and see you in my next video. Bye, guys!